I'm Karen Iba, and thank you so much for tuning in to Holo Holo, the show that aims to spotlight our very own talent. There is an upcoming documentary on Catherine Chung. She is the first female pilot to um, fly during the 1930s. And joining us today is Ed Moy, an award-winning journalist behind the documentary, the producer, Catherine Park, and daughter of Catherine Chung, Dottie. Thank you so much for being here today to tell us more about the film. Thank you. Thank you. For Thanks having for having us. us. Um, Ed, I'm going to start with you because I want to know how it all came about. How did it start? Well, I have to give credit to East West Players. Uh -huh. They're right here in Little Tokyo, right. and uh, they did a play about her mom, Catherine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was it toured around the schools in right. LA area, and uh -huh. it, it gave students an idea of what her mom accomplished. Her mom was actually the first Asian aviatrix. Oh um, wow! So she's the first one to earn a pilot's license in the United States. Um, is 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 what she did, wow. and uh, it it, it kind of opened doors for a lot yeah. of Asian. Uh, women at the time, mm -hmm. actually, there weren't that many. Like less than one percent of all pilots were women, and wow. let alone an Asian woman. Right. So, yeah, she was uh, breaking barriers and opening up yeah, doors. A couple of barriers, right? Yeah. Gender, yeah. And, Gender race. and race. Yes. <laughs> right, uh, Catherine. How did you become a part of the documentary? Oh well, Ed and I knew each other from uh -huh. a short film we did called Red Dress, mm -hmm. and um, I, we were both actors on that film, and we were just talking and. Um, thinking of, you know, let's do a project together, uh, what right. should we do? Mm -hmm. And we threw around some ideas, and then he told me about Catherine, and it was funny because we had the same name, right. which you have to. <laughs> right. And then, um, and he showed me some um, some clips of, of her story, and right. I was just hooked because yes. I think um, all of us, we kind of, when we're growing up, we want to find someone that inspires us in our history right. books. and find people that kind of look like us or make us think like I could do that too. Exactly. So she was that person that I wish I'd known about when I was young. Me so, too. Yeah, that's <laughs> why. I, I didn't hear about Catherine until you approached me. <laughs> Dottie, when did they approach you to tell you that they were going to do this I think it was like two years ago mm -hmm. and then I met both of them. Right. And it was just great from then on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, you know, your mom just breaking these barriers and being the first Asian? Um, it, it just felt like that was my everyday life, so I had no nothing to compare to except, right. except the way it was. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your mom. What was she like? <laughs> She was a tough lady. Uh -huh. She was really she, a daredevil. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I have to be during that time, right, to stand out. <laughs> when my grandfather grew, uh, come from China, he mm -hmm. bought a motorcycle. He rode that. He crashed right. it. And, and, and so he was that way, too. <laughs> so. In the family. Yeah, runs in the family. How about you? <laughs> no, all I did was stay home do my artwork. <laughs> well, what do you guys um, want to share through the documentary? I think uh, it's about daring to dream big mm -hmm. and chasing after your dreams. I think right. our motto of the film, the, the tagline right. is, uh, she, uh, it's right here actually on the, the tagline, she defied the odds to pursue her dream of flying. Yeah. And, and she did, like I said, there was less than 1% of all women, uh, right. all pilots were women even. Mm -hmm. So of those 1%, less than one, she probably was one of the only, you know, maybe a handful of Chinese or right. Asian, women Asian women that even yeah. flew during that period in time. Exactly. It was pretty amazing. And she flew with Amelia Earhart. So she actually <laughs> met Amelia and she was in these air races. She was right. part of the 99s, which was a, a group of women pilots at the time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it, was, it was very uh, out of the ordinary, let's just say that. It was, she stood out yeah. when she came out to the cities and flew around the country and, mm -hmm. and people recognized her. She, she became quite famous at the time. Yeah. yeah. How has it been researching for the documentary? It's, it's been quite a challenge. Uh -huh. uh, we've been trying to track down a lot of yes. historical uh, mm -hmm. documents uh -huh. and also uh, we found some 1935 uh, newsreel from uh, an air race in Long Beach wow. that we were, were able to use in the documentary yeah. and then right. uh, we're trying to track down some audio of her from the 1970s when they mm -hmm. interviewed her mm -hmm. um, for a, a Chinese Historical Society oral history right. and uh, yeah we're adding all that in and then mm -hmm. we're going to shoot some additional reenactments to kind of right. give the piece some 
some mood and atmosphere and Catherine like Catherine's can speak gonna a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be part of the reenactment, right, Oh, Catherine? yes. Yeah, that'll be so fun. It's, it's a fun part of it. She's I an love... actual pianist. You actually play. And then Catherine was Catherine... Uh, trained as a pianist oh, yes. at UC, USC oh, and uh, LA Catherine. Music Conservatory. Wow. That was a very interesting fact. Mm -hmm. And also, it was so wonderful because Dottie mm -hmm. still had some of her mom's sheet music and let me borrow it and look at it. And that oh, was just a really it. interesting interesting way to yeah. study yeah. this person that right. we're learning about. Speaking of studying, um, it sounds like you guys have been working on the documentary for at least a couple of years. Was there anything that surprised you about <laughs> Catherine? I'll start with you, Dottie. <laughs> he found so many articles that I've never seen before. Oh, really? Amazing. Right. <laughs> Any um, one article that stands out in particular? There were so many. So many. <laughs> yeah. he, was, he just found, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. Because I have a scrapbook, but I have now I have like two. <laughs> How about you, Ed? There's a great story that oh. um, we actually found some video of her being interviewed in the 1990s, uh -huh. about 20, nice. 22 years ago. Right. And uh, the video captures her talking about a time when she had to make an emergency landing at an air base. Mm -hmm. And they thought she might have been a spy. This was like just before <laughs> World War II. So Right. They held her and, and questioned her, and it was really kind of amusing, but they eventually right. let her go. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we have that too, and it's, it's a fun wow. little story about how she ran out of gas, kind of, and had to land oh at a military gosh. base. <laughs> she was a daredevil. <laughs> it's yes. a funny story. How about you, Catherine? Oh, Anything gosh. Anything surprise you? Um, I think that... It, it was just cool to unfold the different layers and I mean I already could just tell that she was an amazing woman yeah. but then hearing some of the specific things like how she took her children up into the plane with her oh. when they were young <laughs> and how um, she she really when she decided to get married she was sure that this wasn't going to get in in, in the, the way, way of her yeah. dreams right. and I think um, just it just kept on bringing it to another higher and higher level of inspiration. Oh, She's just yeah. an amazing person. Yeah, she does sound like an amazing, inspiring person. Now, how can we help? How can we be a part of this documentary, Ed? Well, we're doing an Indiegogo crowdfund oh. right now, right. and uh, people can donate to us online. Mm -hmm. And we have a website as well. We're, a, we're actually a nonprofit project, so right. this is uh, not-for-profit. Uh, mm -hmm. We're sponsored by From the Heart Productions. That's the mm -hmm. name of our production right now. Yeah. And uh, we have a website. It's aviatrixmovie.org. Right. People can look us up there and mm -hmm. they can donate through the website or they can find our Indiegogo page and donate mm -hmm. there as well. And it is tax deductible. It right? is tax deductible, tax deductible because we are a nonprofit <laughs> yeah. project. So. Exactly. And then um, I also see a poster here that says Up in the Clouds. Yes. Tell me a little bit more about this. This is an animated short we created about how she fell in love with flying. Uh -huh. uh, she came to the United States around 1921, right. uh -huh. and her dad taught her to drive next to an airfield. Uh -huh. And uh, she saw these planes flying overhead, and she just became enamored with flight That's what it was. and so yeah. we made a little kids animation about that okay and it's a lot of fun we actually have uh, been selected to six different festivals as an official wow. uh, film screening there and uh, we're going to be at the kids fest in dallas texas next wow. month next month uh -huh. and we'll be at asians on film in february okay. here in little tokyo good congratulations yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> i'm looking forward to that and to the documentary i want to know more <laughs> Great. Thank again you. Um, for more info all we have to do is head to aviatrixmovie.org. Right? Yes. Thank you all for being here today and sharing Catherine's story. Thank, Thank you, so Kat. Thank Thanks you. for having us. <laughs> Again, for more information on Aviatrix, head to aviatrixmovie.org. We'll be back.